Hey guys. Hi. Hi John, I'm Shay. And I'm Cheyenne. Nice we to meet are you. the publicity co-executives of the Campus Activities Board. So John, you have a really interesting last name. Split off. Split off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where does that come from? I think when I was in the green room I heard people being like, is it split off? Is it split off? And I was <laughs> yeah. just like, I was just like, ah, okay, they'll get it. It's it's <laughs> German, very German. Mm -hmm. The Hoff, you know, it's like yes. Like Hasselhoff, you know. My last name is Sadoff. Really? Yeah. With an H? Yep. Yeah. Okay. T H O F F. Do people say Sadhoff or? So they say, since there's a T in front of it, they say Sathoff. Right. Which is very wrong. Which, okay, so I have a T in front of my Hoff also, <laughs> yeah. so I get split off. Yeah. Sometimes they don't see the L, so that I get like spit off. <laughs> so, like I've gotten, I've gotten everything. Yeah. But. I, it's just split off, split off, you know, yeah. just when people go like split off, I'm like, just easy on that, easy on that H. You know? It takes so long for her to show the way she really feels when you're alone. When did you decide that you wanted to go into music? Well, I um, I got into singing in high school um, after I didn't make the baseball team. And it was oh, it was a, it was a it was a tough blow, and I was like, because I come from um, a family where everyone does sports, and then baseball didn't work out, so I was just like, okay, now what do I do? My best friend was like, hey, dude, you should like try to join this group that goes through school that it's a singing group and I was like I don't really sing somehow I made it into the group and I kind of like accidentally found out I could sing I remember like doing like a Huey Lewis song Huey Lewis in the news so maybe I got in because like the guys in the group were just like big fans of Huey Lewis but from there I started you know studying music in high school and doing all like the theory stuff and I started writing my own music started you know getting really into singing and, and arranging for, for groups, um, played guitar and piano, and then I um, was just like, okay, I guess I'll go to college for this. So, yeah. yeah I, and here you are. Here I am, in college, in a college, <laughs> playing music. When I was father, you know you're mine. anything about you that no one knows? Mm, yeah. There's this, I could do a spin kick in midair. I could do like this flip kick and I barely do it anymore, but I've done it maybe for like 10 people before. So those 10 people are the only people who've seen me do it. How did you learn that you could do this? Um, watching classic kung fu movies and being like, I gotta do something like that. So and then I just like, I was really into like Kung Fu growing up and <laughs> I was a bit, I'm a, I'm a Kung Fu slash like fantasy movie nerd, sci-fi kind of thing, so. So you just got on your first try or did you no. have to go over a while? No, did it a whole lot. Right. And this was like sixth grade that I was like really working on this kick. Thank you. The jack is too hot, I gotta take, I gotta take a jack. Now I'm a full, I'm a full blown mime up here. Now I look like I just escaped from jail. So we understand that you play a lot of instruments. What are those and what's your favorite? I mainly just play guitar and piano. I mean, I can play a little bit of bass. Um, I don't play the drums, but I've given a drum lesson. I live in New York City, so my first uh, job in New York to, uh, when I was living on my buddy's couch, I got a job teaching at the School of Rock. And they called me in, there. I was teaching like piano and, and guitar. To, my favorite instrument, I think, is guitar. No, is piano. Even though I'm, I'm not like, I, I think I'm more comfortable on guitar when it comes to playing in front of people, but I think piano is just like the best instrument in the world. Um, but they called me to do a drum lesson, 
drum lesson with like a seven year old and this kid just like slowly was realizing that I was just a fraud on the drums. And I'm like, it was an hour long lesson and I was just like critiquing him on the drums. And I was like, you know, you just, all I did was really tell him like who to listen to. I was like, you gotta check out John Bonham. You gotta check out those Beatles. And that's kind of like all I said throughout the whole lesson. It was just like, you gotta get, what have you been listening to? Okay, well, make sure you get some Ringo Starr and some John Bonham and some, uh, some Cream, just like classic rock stuff. So, anyway, that was a long answer for you to ask me how many instruments I play. Do y'all know how to have a good time? I said, do y'all know how to have a good time? that you made it in music, what would you be doing right now? I almost went to school for acting, funny enough, I almost, which was, which is a sick backup job for, uh, you know, a really steady backup job for music, you know. Yeah, very steady. Um, so I almost went to school for that and I did a little bit of like theater and acting in, in college, but um, I think that would be like the other thing I would do slash want to do. Otherwise, I don't know. I've never worked in an office before. I've never, never had a real job. I've only really um, either taught music, you know, played gigs, played people's weddings, I've played all over New York City. All, I'm from Chicago, so all over Chicago, but I've never really had like, a, I was a camp counselor one time during the summer back from college. That's the closest I had to like having a non-music job. So you think eventually you'll maybe go into acting too? Yeah, I'd love to. Like, big dream would be to like just be on SNL, perform on SNL, and then also be in like some, some skits, slash perhaps host. That's, that's a dream. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. I basically wrote this song about social media, you know? I wrote this song about people trying to up their clout, trying to be something they're not, and um, it kind of like makes the friendship suffer because of it. So that being said, uh, please follow me on Instagram, and um, that'd be great. Thank you. This is Torture. Hey! So is there something that you haven't done yet as an artist and you would like to do? One thing that I'm doing in two weeks that I've never done is gone on tour. So I'm going on my first tour, um, which is really exciting. I'm going, tonight I'm playing just by myself on, on guitar, but I'm playing this tour with two of my best friends. Um, guitar, or I'm playing guitar and singing, then we have drums and keys. And um, we're going on the road with this artist from the UK named uh, Gabrielle Applin, she's amazing. Um, and it's like a 13 show tour going from East Coast to West Coast. So that's something I haven't done that's... And then playing a, a, a festival, which I'm playing Bonnaroo this, this year. So you said you're from Chicago, mm -hmm. and now you're at the University of Northern Iowa. Have you ever been to Iowa before? Man, this is my third time in Iowa in like two months. Where else have you been? I can't get enough of Iowa. Let's see, I, two weeks ago I was at Iowa State. Um, the person in my family went to Iowa State, but I was playing there. And then um, at the end of last year I played uh, at Luther College. Okay. Um, so I opened for Ben Rector there, and then I opened for this guy Max. Um, at Iowa State. Now I'm open for Andy Grammer tonight. Yeah, we're excited. I'm excited too. So thanks again for talking to us today. Mm -hmm. uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. And we're looking forward to the concert, seeing what you can do. So am I. Thank thanks, you. Guys. Yes, thank you. <laughs> production of UNI 
TV and UNI Media Services.